Now I'm gonna approach this exactly as I would a split pan. So there's our lever, lever I should say. And we'll, uh, first thing we're gonna do is give it a dusting. Old pie and powder, get it nicely covered in it. Uh, I should do the trick. <coughs> so now we've got the bottom part of the flask, which is the drag, uh, upside down, and I'll place that over over the uh, lever where I want it. Get it in the right position. Yeah, I think that should do nicely. And now we just put the uh, petrobond sand in. Press that down with a spoon. <coughs> and my favorite uh, cramping down tool. Now I'm going to fill this up, <coughs> level it off, and then we'll flip it over and we can put the top part of the flask on. So that's all now patted down nicely, so we'll turn it over. And there we go. So the next stage <coughs> is to, again, dust over this. Parting powder, put some more parting powder on. Give it a good dust over. And then we put the um, top flask on uh, and we should be good to go. put the nuts on temporarily this is just to make sure that I don't knock it or, or move it when I'm, when I'm doing the top part there we go now I'm going to put the gate and the riser in don't necessarily need a riser on this because it's such a small small item but I'm going to use one anyway it won't do any harm um, and the gate, I'm going to have to hold the gate in place while I put the casting uh, sand in. So, <coughs> I want that about there. 
We'll stand up. Good. Well, you get the idea. And I'll tram that down and we can pull the gate and the riser out, right, riser out and um, we should be good to go. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> I haven't quite got enough casting sand to fill it right up, but that'll do, that's not a problem. So basically I'll clean up and I'll pull out the riser and the gate and then we'll take it apart and see what we've got. Moment of truth. <coughs> okay well that's not too bad at all yeah i think that's looking quite good now all we've got to do is get this out <laughs> uh, i don't know whether this is going to work but we'll try it Yeah, I was expecting that because obviously the sand has curled over the edges, but I think it's going to be okay. Well, I'm astonished <laughs> at what has happened here because I screwed up big time and I really thought this was going to be a complete and utter disaster. I don't know whether you noticed it, it was particularly noticeable when I separated the flasks after I'd done the pouring and um, removed the sand from the flask. This chipboard I'd used is some part bit of an old kitchen cabinet and of course it's got this plastic covering surface on it and of course the casting sand can't grip that so it slides around inside it as you probably saw the whole lump of casting sand slid around like a brick and I thought oh my god no this is this is going to be a disaster but it's actually turned out not bad I, I'm, I'm absolutely astonished let's close in and have a look at it now it's difficult to get the lighting right with aluminium because it's so shiny but, but it, as you, I think you can see that, that you know this side certainly turned out okay. We'll turn it round. The other side. And again, yeah, it's a bit messy, but I can clean all that up, and I think we will have a serviceable lever for the daisy once I've once I've cleaned this up. But what astonishes me about this is it, it just absolutely incredible. I'll prop it up and we'll close in so you can have a look. The Daisy logo has come out superbly and it's and it's really very, very 
slightly raised up from the surface on the original plastic lever. So that's uh, even the eye over the uh, the dot over the eye has come out. Just just incredible. And it's the same at the um, actual pivot end as well. You know, all the lines around the pivot. There's there's the original. They've all come out, and the, and there's there's hardly any indentation to 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 give that detail. It's just it's absolutely amazing. So I think this will clean up lovely. Well, I've done the first stage of filing, basically removing all the excess, rough clean up. There's still a lot more work to do, but I'm very pleased with the way it came out. <clears throat> As I said, the Daisy. Uh, name has come out really well I wasn't expecting that kind of detail and uh, sh shrinkage is minimal because obviously it's not a very large piece of aluminium anyway so you know, that helps but um, yeah I think this might um, might actually work so I've just got to get on and do the rest of the filing and the clean up and polish it and then um, don't know whether to paint it or not. I mean, technically it should be black on this gun, so I probably will end up painting it. But yeah, I'm, I'm well pleased with it so far. The replacement aluminium lever for my lovely Daisy Model 95B is finished. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. There are a few small inclusions. You can probably see them. There's a little tiny one there and there. And there's a few little bumps and parts of the cast in that I didn't take out with the file. The problem with this is that how far do you go when you you're cleaning it up you know you could work at it and get out of every single little bump and um and take it all out and then but you'll end up with a lever which is much much smaller than you actually want so there's a certain level that you can go to with it and that's how far i've gone and i'm very pleased with the result it looks great i'll put it on the daisy in a minute and we can have a look at it on the gun i did decide to leave it it's just polished aluminium rather than painting it because I rather like this and I'm also concerned that you'd have to etch prime this first and then spray it black and you may well lose the daisy logo at that point because it's it's only very slightly raised on the surface I'll flip it over and have a look at the other side now the other side is not not quite as nice because obviously there was that that point there that was where the gate was <clears throat> and again I could I could spend time machining that off but First of all, it doesn't really matter because this surface here is the bearing surface around the hole and you can't see this anyway because it's up inside the receiver. So I'm not too bothered about that. The rest of it, absolutely fine. Uh, as I said, it's come out really, really well. So, um, right, let's, let's get it back onto the gun. And there it is in all its glory. And I thought it looks pretty damn nice. Now, okay, I know the original was black, but I think that that looks rather nice. And it's quite a nice contrast. Uh, many daisies have uh, aluminium coloured aluminium levers, so it's it's not unusual. But uh, I, I really, really like that. I may at some point in the future maybe paint, paint it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I like it as it is at the moment, so I think we'll leave it like that. I'll flip it over so you can see the other side. Just looks really, really nice. So close in a little bit on the uh, on the receiver part. Yeah, I think it looks really good. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with that. It is, uh, it is a good fit, and uh, it looks nice on the gun, and uh, it is, uh, it is just lovely. Um, I guess the most important next question is, well, does it work? <laughs> okay, let's. I'll show you the gun being cocked. It's a little bit tighter in the slot than the original, but I'm not unhappy about that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. As I said, that doesn't rattle around at all, which is lovely. And it moves and functions exactly as it should do. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, so I'm well pleased with the outcome on this. And uh, I hope that uh, this shows that being able to cast aluminium at home yourself is very, very useful. You know, I, I know that most of the casting I do is bar stock for use on my lathe, but you know, simple materials, get yourself some casting sand. You can actually cast objects relatively easily. Now, 
as I said to you earlier on in the video, you know, I thought this was going to be a complete cock up because I screwed up when I made the flask. You, you need to make the flask out of wood that the, the sand can grip so it doesn't move around. But and I didn't. So, you know, but it did. It still worked out OK. And also the way that I did this is basically wrong. You're not supposed to cast like this. Uh, you, to cast a, a handle like that, really, you would need a split pattern for, for that. Ideally, two thin halves of the lever put together and that would get you a much better casting. But you can still do it this way. And this way works for doing things like flywheels. I've cast flywheels for dual flywheel steam engines where one of the flywheels is missing or broken and I've needed a replacement. So I've used the remaining intact flywheel to produce a replica and it works. You can do this. So, uh, you know, and, and this, obviously this applies, <laughs> obviously my interests are BB, American BB, B guns, particularly daisies and air rifles and air pistols, but it doesn't matter whatever you're interested in. If you need something made out of aluminium or lead, lead is another one that you can use, another metal that you can use. You can do this at home for a relatively small outlay. And it's just so satisfying to be able to make parts like this yourself. It, it really is. It's very difficult for me to get over that over on camera, but it is um, It is just uh, really, really satisfying to be able to do this. So anyway, that's it for now. My uh, Model 95B Daisy BB gun has got a new aluminium lever to replace its original plastic one, which I love. So it's been a bit of a long-winded exercise, but it was worth the effort. As always, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.